Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Horizontally polarized light is incident on a pair of the polarizers X and Y. The axis of polarization of X makes an angle theta with the horizontal. The axis of polarization of Y is vertical. What is theta? So that the intensity of light transmitted through X is maximum. So uh, let us say that the intensity here is I1, intensity here will be I2, intensity here is I3. And we want to find the condition for maximum intensity after I3, like after polarizer Y. Okay, so first of all, we must understand this, this thing that in this case, this is a peculiar case, a different case from the other polarizer cases. Why? Because already polarized light is hitting the first polarizer. Technically, this polarizer is not the first. This becomes the second polarizer. So there is a story behind this thing which is not written here. And what is the story? That this light, it was, it has crossed another polarizer here, which was having the axis horizontal. And this light was unpolarized light that was hitting this polarizer. So this is the story that is not given in the question. So this polarizer can be called as first, this should be called as a second, and this should be called technically as the third polarizer. Now, this intensity will become half here. So whatever is the intensity anyways, we are not talking about that. So this is the horizontally polarized light. Now it is falling on this. Whenever a polarized light falls on a polarizer, Malu's law is used. So Malu's law will be used for the polarizer X and Malu's law will be used the second time for the polarizer Y. Okay, so let us do it. Now, this is the, uh, the horizontal and this polaroid is now uh, moved by the angle theta. Horizontally, the axis of the polarizer is making theta degree with the horizontal. So the axis of this polarizer is making theta degree with the horizontal, they say. So the axis should be horizontal. Yeah, it is shown here, you see. Uh, it was, uh, it is like this, horizontal axis in the case of the second this polarizer so the angle will be theta so it means that i2 will be given by i1 cos square theta because theta is the angle between um, the axis of the polarizer this one that is shown here and the axis of the polarized light that is incident on it so it will be given by this but now the new light that would be coming out of the polarizer x would be having the polarizer axis parallel to the axis of the polarizer x so it would be like this it would be like this so that can be taken as already like this so this is theta so this is theta already but this axis is now vertical so this is now vertical so we have to technically find the angle between the output of the light after the polarizer x which is this one with the vertical axis of polarizer y now what it will be, obviously it will be 90 minus theta, isn't it? Like if this is theta, this will be the 90 minus theta angle, isn't it? Just try to think about it, like it's really a bit confusing, I would say. Like this is the polarizer, the light is coming out of this and the angle with the another polarizer will be 90 minus theta. So I can say that I3 will be I2 into cos square 90 minus theta. My dear students, the mathematics starts now. It will become cos square theta. I just substituted I2 here and multiplied by cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. So it would be sine square theta. So there is this double angle identity. Sine 2 theta is equal to twice of cos theta sine theta. We are going to use it here, multiplying 4 above and 4 below. I1 divided by 4, it will be twice of sine theta twice of cos theta whole square. I believe you understand what I'm doing here. Four multiplied in the numerator, four multiplied in the denominator. Denominator remains the same. The four in the numerator is taken inside the bracket where the square is already there uh, on, on the top. So this becomes sine to theta, hence I3 becomes I1 divided by four sine to theta. Now we want to maximize this thing. So this becomes the amplitude. The amplitude will be I1 by 4. So I1 is this intensity. So this intensity will become I1 by 4. Like this is the maximum value. And when do we get it maximum? When sine 2 theta is uh, 1. Which means 2 theta is 90 degree. Which means theta is 45 degree. Hence the end answer will be P. Let us verify it from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is B, my dear students. 
Bye.